What's up guys, Mindless again. Wanted to share another piece out of my collection and uh, this is a cool one. This is a piece from uh, Lee Williams out of Texas. It is a one-off full time Ascus donk kickstop flipper. And this is a piece that honestly I thought I would never uh, see again or even have a shot at uh, adding to my collection, but this piece was originally made for the 2014 Tactical Knife Invitational TKI out in Vegas. And it's one of those pieces that, you know, for TKI, the makers that are invited to make, and usually there's only about 20, 25, so it's a pretty small show that only lasts a few hours. The makers usually pull out all the stops and go big. And this is one of the offerings from uh, Master Maker Lee Williams. And... You know, I'd seen pictures on uh, the USN on his sub forum when he was showing what he was bringing to TKI, and I was just like blown away. And, and I've seen other similar uh, finishes. He he made one that was all Timascus with like a Damasteel blade. And to be honest, I've never seen that knife again. I saw the pictures of when it was made, and then it's in someone's collection now, and it's just gone, which happens often on these TKI like super one-off Grayley pieces. Um, but this one about three months ago became available and I, I mean, I had to get on it right away. It was offered up to me and I, believe it or not, I wasn't ready or in a position to pick up or purchase something at this level. But uh, with the help of uh, Recon One, I was able to trade a few pieces and make up the difference in, in uh, in cash and I was able to add it to my collection so it's no surprise to you guys who watch my channel regularly that I'm a big fan of kickstops and to me this is just stupid absolutely gorgeous so what you're looking at is a uh, four inch blade overall and the cutting edge comes all the way right up to the frame so it's pretty awesome big knife overall length is nine and a half inches so it's no joke, and you, you you will have seen or something similar to this, like uh, this design handle design is like a window pattern, and you know oftentimes uh, Lee would make it with like carbon fiber inlays, but this is all one solid piece of Timascus with milling, and on the other side, uh, lock bar side is solid Timascus as well with a Mokotai clip, uh, heat treated or anodized rather in. A different colors to give it a contrast and I think it looks freaking sick uh, satin hand rub blade there's Lee's uh, makers mark on it but take a look at the coloring on the handles and I think that's what really separates obvious from obvious reasons but really separating this full time mascus piece from others is how uh, Lee was able to to draw the pattern and the colors and you'll notice that in these windows, it's it's uh, treated differently. So different colors have come out. It is just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. I wanted to share this with you guys because it's just, honestly, it's one of the rarest pieces. And I've had it in my collection for a few months now. And I wanted to kind of live with it. And, you know, it's weird when you get a new knife and you... Uh, Want to, if you make a video right away, oftentimes you miss a lot of the subtleties. And when it's like a full time ascus or a dress piece like this, oftentimes you can't see everything. So you kind of got to live with it for a little bit. And then you begin to notice how crazy the craftsmanship is. I mean, take a look at the These are the back side of the screws holding the frame together. But they're finished and polished to a super high polish. Absolutely absolutely beautiful another thing too about this one is that oftentimes when you have like a full time ascus piece or mokotai piece the lock bar behaves a little differently than a normal titanium frame lock lock bar but this one very good very good feeling no stick at all detent is money perfect centering is perfect as you'd expect just a gorgeous piece that came out of Texas, out of the grindhouse. Lee's work, honestly, guys, is like the best. And kickstop action is amazing. This has a slightly lighter detent than other kickstops that I have, but 
it still flips like a champ, especially for being a four inch blade. Take a look at this hand rub. How perfectly executed it is. Mirror finish on the cutting edge on the secondary bevel. Just absolutely beautiful. Perfection. Absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at the lockup, guys. Real early, like a 25-30% lockup. Super, super solid. Amazing action. And just a stunning piece. To be honest, I don't carry this. I, I really don't. It is in absolute mint condition. It's all it's almost a you know year, year and a half old, and it is in mint condition. And the the collector that had it before me, um, we kind of interact on uh, Instagram, and I know his collection. He knows mine as well. And when, when he decided to give it up and I knew it was available, it was kind of like a race to grab it because I know I was not the only collector chasing after this piece. So, But it is just, honestly, I'm kind of at a loss for words. It's just better to look at the milling, the anodization, How he's able to, how Lee got all the colors out of it is just ridiculous. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful, beautiful example of a donk. And you guys will recognize the shape. I have, um, you've seen the Mayo Williams collaboration. It's the same knife, but this is not a collaboration. This is Lee uh, by himself producing it out of the grindhouse. And, and for those who don't know who, uh, much about Lee, this guy is, uh, he's on, I really do think he's on a whole nother level. Um, you know, he uh, was working in the like refinery uh, industry, oil industry out in Texas for, I mean, north of 20 years. And back in 2014, like I think it was right after the new year, beginning of 2014, he uh, quit his job of 20 years to become a full-time knife maker. And, and don't mistake that for him being a new knife maker. He was making knives, uh, but it was part time. And back in 2014, he went full time. And uh, this was one of the first pieces. This was the 2014 TKI, which happens right around the same time that he he took the dive into being a full time maker. And man, the knife industry is better for uh, because of him doing so. I mean, this guy has trained so many different makers. Uh, the grindhouse is open to visitors. You'll see, uh, if you go on his, uh, Instagram or rather his like USN sub forum, so many makers learn their, their skill or their craft by direct instruction from Lee Williams and, uh, his influence is unquestionable in the, uh, custom knife world. It's the tactical knives kickstop, Beautiful, beautiful. I know everybody likes to see this, so here it is. I mean, even not, it's just, this is just the best example of a donk. Absolutely gorgeous. It's sometimes really easy to, uh, for, at least for me, when I first started getting into the kickstops, it seemed like all the pieces I were, was able to score were all collaborations. And rarely do the... Uh, non-collaboration, just Lee William kickstop folders. They were just weren't available for some reason at that time. And once I was able to grab Lee's own work where he's handling everything from the handle, the flipping mechanism to the blade, the attention to detail is unquestionable. This guy is at the top of the game. Uh, his peaches, pieces uh, fetch big dollars on the secondary. Even his uh, table prices, maker prices are up there. but. Again, absolutely worth every penny. I mean, look at this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. Ridiculous. And uh, the day I'm filming this, it's uh, I think it's like Saturday, the 21st of November. The New York Custom Night Show is going on, and I wish I could be there. And uh, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to grab one of my... Uh, grailiest pieces and make a video about it and share uh, this with all you other knife nuts out there because this thing is freaking awesome awesome 
just gorgeous. And I've been going through like a, a little bit of a shift in my collection over the last two months where I'm trying to uh, trade out or sell pieces that are, in my mind, easily replaceable or, you know, rather if I sold something off, I knew I could always get something similar back. And I'm trading those and selling those out to get pieces that I know are one-offs and almost impossible uh, to replace if I sold them. So, and this to me, I consider one of those uh, pieces. Check out the recess for your thumb. I mean, it's just amazing, amazing. Oftentimes, like I said in the beginning of the video, pieces like this, and, and I've noticed mostly, uh, most of them come from the TKI show. The collectors that grab these pieces are oftentimes like pretty private dudes and they just disappear. You know, you, you've seen, you see a picture of the maker post of them getting ready for the show and then what they're taking and then they're just gone forever. There are a lot of knife collectors that are not on Instagram or YouTube or participate in forums and some of the most beautiful custom pieces are in their possession and honestly, they'll never leave. They look at these knives as art, um, almost as like legacy family heirloom type pieces. And I really do believe in my opinion, this one falls into that category. So to me, I'd like to just hold on to this one and keep it in my collection and maybe pass it on uh, to uh, generations down the line because it is truly one of the most beautiful pieces. Take out the tolerances that Lee builds into his knives. I mean, it is just ridiculous. You can't, uh, you can see the light coming from behind. Perfectly done. Perfectly done. And on most of Lee's knives, um, the pivots, you know, he uses a standard like T8, T9. But on this side, a lot of guys will do like a D shape so it holds it flush so it won't move. On most of Lee's, I've noticed they don't. So if you turn this, the entire pivot moves and ideally that's not how I like it, but I, here's the thing that with Lee's knives, they don't need to be adjusted. They're always dead center, at least my experience. So they're always dead center. There's zero blade play. Flipping action is perfect. He's tuned them perfectly and I think Loctited them as they left his shop. So they're kind of, they just work. You know what I mean? It's like perfection every time. And to be honest with you, uh, the finish on this is really tough. It's high polish. I tried to wipe it with some Windex down to bring the colors out, but you actually could carry this. If anything, I'd be more worried about marring up uh, the satin finish on the blade, less about the handles. But guys, this is a, a true masterpiece that's come out of the grindhouse in Texas. The choice of the Mokutai clip uh, finished in the, you know, the contrasting color was in my opinion, just genius. So much work goes into shaping this and making it. Look how beautifully executed it is. All the edges are chamfered and it's just gorgeous. And if it was the same color as the Timascus, you would, you would be able to see the amount of work that went into this. Just stunning. Everything, even the lock bar relief cut, how, you know, in typical Lee Williams fashion, he puts those fins which I believe he and Dan Galloway came up with. The inside, the fluting part, is colored and cleaned and finished to an extremely high level. Just a gorgeous piece. He's, he's done the anodizing all the way throughout, so if you look inside the handles, the color goes all the way through. He, it's just there you can kind of see it on the inside, the back side of that, that scale. Just a stunning piece, guys. So had to share it with you guys had to share it i think it's never been on my channel it's um if you follow me on instagram and a lot of people ask it's mindless mark 07 on instagram as well usn blade forums uh, youtube i'm the same i have the same handle everywhere um I, I posted some pictures of this but it is just absolutely stunning and i had to share it with you guys it's just absolutely perfect perfection zero no mush the detent is solid flips every time with authority a gorgeous big knife let's take one more look for you wrap fellas 
I forgave my voice today. I have a slight cold, but look at the handle. Are you freaking kidding me, guys? Look at how sick that is, dude. Lee is the shit. Sorry for dropping the ass bomb, but it's just the truth. This guy is a straight up master knife maker. Other side on the lock side. Gorgeous. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. The smoothest knife. And it's not like a free falling knife. It's smooth. It's just perfect. Perfection. Awesome. I had to share, fellas. This is it's that good. There's the kick stop. Beautiful. Even in the closed position, it's just as gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. But that is the Lee Williams TKI 2014 TKI offering full time Ascus frame donk. Kick stop flipper. Thanks so much for stopping in. And I really appreciate all you guys who keep coming back every week and all the kind uh, comments if you have any questions about this piece or any other pieces please uh let's start a discussion in the comment section and um i'll see you guys on the next video throw me a like if you if you enjoy this and subscribe for more videos try to get them out every saturday i'll see you guys on the next one take it easy